So you probably already know this lost sector can be done within like 30-ish seconds if you have some class that can dash around. Uh, with a hunter it could probably be possible in some way. Um, the most comfortable way I feel like is uh, on Solar which takes me roughly 45-ish seconds, maybe a minute depending on where the enemies are and how annoying they are. <laughs> but uh, usually I'm around the 45-ish second mark to complete it. Which is pretty simple, I guess you probably already know the trick. You only kill the last champion, the unstoppable champion that spawns in the final room, and the boss himself to finish this lost sector. You have to, however, kill like three or four enemies at the very final bit too, uh, so that the boss actually spawns. I'm usually going to stop this guy because he's annoying and he keeps following me. And then I just run straight through, so for the three or indoor five... Uh, or four, I guess, I don't know how many degrees kills. I usually kill this guy, stun this guy, switch to rocket, reload immediately by dashing, kill this, kill whoever is kinda close, or at least try to. This should trigger this guy to spawn. Also a knife at him, two rockets, maybe a third, we'll see, maybe another one, there we go, and he's done. And that's it. And the way you can accomplish that um, is Pretty straightforward, um, you can actually use a gun in your primary or kinetic and stasis slot, wh whichever you like, you don't need it, it's really just for leveling, which is pretty nice, you get 12% for leveling. And um, I'm using the Enigma, not only because it is void to destroy the, um, uh, the, the void shield guys with one shot, but also because it has Psycho Hack, which basically makes you withstand a lot of damage immediately, so whenever you have the Glaive equipped, you basically take no damage. And G-Horn, well you've seen probably why, because it takes two to three shots to kill the boss. The way to achieve the two to three shot kill is actually a bit specific. You don't have to run it if you don't have the space for it or the energy for it on your on your items. But you can do it. I'm on Solar so that I can benefit from Class C Restoration, so I'm basically unkillable. I have elemental ornaments on it and the utility kickstarts. Well, utility ki kickstart for obvious reason that I get my class ability back immediately. The elemental ornaments will uh, trigger by the G-Horn kill, which will most definitely drop at least one Solar Vel for you when you kill that one unstoppable champion, which basically means you get one elemental well. I pair that together with elemental charge so that I get um, charged with light as well. You don't need the rocket launcher scavenger, but you can use it if you want to. Um, I'm just running resistance mods with the powerful friend so I get to 100 mobility and 100 resilience on top with like a 5-ish percent resistance against any kind of um, elemental damage type. You can use whatever you want, you can even go for more rocket ammo if you really need it, but you usually shouldn't need it because it takes like 2 or 3 rockets to kill the boss. And um, stacking that well and, and um, charged with light, stacking together with high energy fire and font of might to achieve that kind of like 2 to 3 um, shot kill of the um, G Horn. It is possible to get a two shot kill if the boss enemy is relatively close to the two tanks that explode since they also do solar damage so keep an eye out that you're uh, taking your distance there a bit so that you don't kill yourself with it. And I'm also running nightmarish opulence at the moment since um, it increases the benefit from psycho hack and technically also another one but you don't need that one. And uh, as told before, the Psycho Hack perk is on the Glaive, so essentially you will have even higher damage resistance against anything that is shooting at you, even a boss. And um, so yeah, that's kind of like just for survivability. So this is pretty much, at least in my opinion, the kind of like fastest way for, the, for a Solar Hunter, and uh, also like the, the easiest and most survivable way. You cannot do the same for Master, because if I'm correct, there should be a second champion spawning like mid-wave. So you would either have to kill that guy too, or it just generally doesn't work on Master. So you'll have to actually do it uh, on um, Legend difficulty so that it actually works. For the aspects and stuff, well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, the super you don't need, I currently still have it in wrong, and I could probably change it back, but it was from the last wish rate. Uh, the marksman dodge to instantly reload your rockets or the glaive, whatever you prefer. Triple jump because I like it. Um, you don't necessarily need to use the weighted throwing knife. You can. It's probably just, in my opinion at least, it's, ki it's kind of like the most comfortable. Um, you need a throwing knife just because you can trigger Radiant with one of these um, um, fragments but down there, but I'll get to that later. I'm using the fusion grenade because I like it. Um, I'm basically just using both um, aspects that give me the most slots. And uh, also knock them down so that you get Radiant by hitting an enemy with a throwing knife and um, 
to kind of like you would basically get it back immediately. I'm sorry I was wrong, <laughs> you don't get Radiant from this aspect, but you do get uh, Radiant from one of the fragments, but I'll get to that later. Uh, Amber of Power, because I get plus 10 resilience, it's the only reason, I don't care about the other benefit. Um, Amber of Beams would technically only be necessary for the super, so you can ditch that. Uh, you can what pick whatever you like, maybe there's a better one for this lost sector, but I'm kind of lazy changing my like utilities up a bit too much, so I just stuck with it. And there we go, Ember of Tortures to become Radiant when you hit uh, an enemy with your throwing knife. Um, and then Ember of Empyrean uh, to just increase radi restoration and Radiant effect, so it'll last a little bit longer. And Ember of Solace to like uh, increase it even more, basically. So it's like, uh, you know, if you do Solar kills, you get it extended, so in case you hit a few enemies, it extends it even more. And with Ember of Solace, you get up to 15 seconds, so it lasts for quite a while. Pretty short. Um, quick introduction to what I use. There's probably better ways to use, but I hope it helps you guys. Of course, other classes are a bit faster, but I guess the Hunter with the most exotic gauntlets uh, kind of like needs a little side introduction of the way, at least I how I am doing it. Um, I'm not the best at the game technically, but I kind of feel comfortable with my style. If you have better ways, feel free to leave them in the comments so that everybody uh, else can read it. Um, I hope at least this helps like players who are maybe not too comfortable with running these lost sectors solo so that I can at least, you know, kind of like get the uh, good shots while grinding these exotic gauntlets. It will obviously change once Arc 3.0 comes around because you no longer have class restoration, so you might have to switch just that grenade out with uh, the healing grenade and you can still basically achieve the same kind of speed as long as Bungie is not going to fix it. So I hope this helps um, and uh, good luck and have fun.